Hey guys, so field monitors. I've never owned one, never tried one. However, the folks over at Andor sent me this for review. This is a seven inch full HD field monitor for use with the Sony E-mount system. Now this will also work on probably any Canon or Nikon camera that has an HDMI connection. So let's go ahead and get started by checking out what comes in the box. So here is the box that the monitor comes in and as you can tell right away, pretty generic box, 7 inch full HD field monitor, 1920 by 1200 full HD, you got a nice picture of the actual product, same thing on the side, same thing on the front, no model number or serial number, oddly enough, same thing on the back, and just white on the very back, so this pops open like that. And let's see, this looks like some sort of glare protection, I'm not sure. You have a user manual. So there's a package list, QC pass, and this is the monitor. All right. You do have the Andor logo on the front, several buttons all in a row. You have mode, left and right, menu, function up, function down, function three, function four, and a power button. So pretty nice, the, the screen is pretty reflective. All right, around this side you have, it looks like a power connection, HDMI, headphone AV, HDMI as I mentioned, DC12. You have an OSD controller, USB upgrade. So pretty cool, made in China. There's a little speaker on the back, or at least I think it's a speaker, so we'll have to see if that is. On camera, field monitor, screen size seven inch IPS, resolution is listed there again, and HDMI input. So pretty cool. And it is pretty slim. You can see it's probably just a little over a centimeter thick, so nice and thin. Uh, it looks like there is a screen protector on here. Uh, let's see what else is in the package. All right, so we have this, which is for the shield. So you would mount this um, to the monitor and then put the plastic shield in front. If you want to look like you are shooting Hollywood movies, they give you an HDMI to mini HDMI cable, which is very nice. A bracket, and this I'm hoping is a battery, because, nope, it's not a battery. You have an Allen key, it's a hot shoe to tripod mount, so you could mount this on top of your camera. Um, I don't exactly know how I am going to power this though, since I do not have a battery pack for it. And also, oddly enough, there is no power cable that I saw in the packaging. So here is the monitor again, and this video is being recorded about a week after the unboxing because I had to go out and buy a battery adapter here. And I also had to buy a cable. So let me show you guys that. You can get various batteries to fit the back of this monitor with adapters. This one is a direct battery pack. So it just slides on and locks in like that. And it is not the most attractive thing in the world, but it works. I believe this is the F970 battery. Um, that costs around $40 to $50 on Amazon. This, however, is about $10, and what it is, is it's a pack. So you can insert AA batteries in here and use it just like you would the actual pack and save yourself some money. Next, I got this Atomos Pro Video HDMI cable. It's 30 centimeters in length. And this had very good reviews on Amazon. It was a bit pricey, it was $20 for this cable, but I figured it was better to buy something that's small with a coil 
than it is to buy a giant six foot long cable that I would have to figure out how to wrap around my camera gear. So here is the battery pack. Slide it on the back of the monitor. So if I press the power, it turns yellow. Field monitor. And HDMI, there's a battery indicator in the corner. It's at 100% and no signal. Put this field monitor on top. Secure it down and HDMI goes in right here. Connected to 4K TV, interesting. Let's see, yeah. And as you can probably tell, it looks just like the back of your camera screen. So you have all of your info at the bottom, ISO settings, all of that fun stuff. The battery indicator even is up at the top. I'll try to show you what the resolution looks like right here. It is full HD and the pixels are quite small and it's a pretty detailed display. So what's my first impression of this monitor? Well, I do like the image quality. I think that the resolution is awesome. The pixels are nice and crisp and clear. And you could see a very high level of detail when you are recording using this monitor. Functionally, it is quite easy to use. You just plug it in and it's done. You don't have to mess with any settings on the A6000. It just works. It's plug and play, pretty simple. The only thing I had to do was turn down the audio because it was making horrible shrieking noises. The build quality isn't horrible, but it's not exactly the most durable field monitor out there. I'd be scared to drop it and crack the screen or chip off a piece of plastic on the sides. But if you are setting it up just for a home studio and you're not planning on moving it very frequently, I think it'll be just fine. The question at the end of the day is, is this field monitor worth it? And the bigger question is, do you need one? And that really depends on who you are. There's going to be a group of folks who use field monitors all the time and they rely on them to see what they are recording to frame their shots. So if you are using the A6000 or A6300 or A6500, something without a flip out screen in a studio and you're recording yourself for YouTube, for example, all the time, I can see how having a permanent setup with this field monitor mounted on top would be beneficial. There are a couple of reasons why I think that this field monitor is not for everyone. Number one is it's kind of pricey. So this unit itself is about $150 to $160 on Amazon, but you have to factor in that you have to buy a battery pack. A decent one is going to run you $40 to $50 with a charger. You have to buy a cable that's gonna run you $20. So all in, you're gonna be hovering at maybe 200, 220. At a bit over $200 all in, I think it's hard to justify this field monitor for the casual user. Especially given the fact that if you download a free app and download the app on your phone, you get effectively what is a field monitor using your phone for absolutely free. Now it's not as big, but it functions the same and in fact in many ways this may be better because well it's wireless so it connects to your camera via wi-fi and for framing your shots i've been using this over the past couple of months and it has been working wonderfully i am going to give this field monitor a shot though so i will be using it in my upcoming videos and we'll see if that opinion changes over time but if you are in the market for a field monitor definitely check this out. I'll post a link down below to Amazon if you are interested in specs and all of that fun stuff. Uh, and that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. Thank you guys for all of your likes and all of your support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.